To clean your French horn, your valves should be frequently wiped with a clean rag. I also recommend greasing your valves whenever they begin to feel sticky. Any standard valve grease should work. <music> Bathing. Simply run warm, soapy water through all the tubes and then rinse to assure that no soap has been left behind. You should also run warm, soapy water through the valves and then reapply the valve oil. This prevents lime deposits from forming. When reattaching the parts, make sure to press them firmly back into place and tune things accordingly. Oiling. At least once a week, apply valve or rotor oil to the valves of your French horn. The valve springs should also be oiled. Using a thicker oil, oil under the valve caps and the bearing next to the valves. Assure that after you have oiled each part, it is well attached to the horn again. Storage. When storing a French horn, as long as the temperature isn't extreme, it should continue to operate fine. To put the French horn into the case, simply assure that it is the right way up, the mouthpiece is removed, and then place it gently into the outline. When placing the French horn into the case, try to assure that it is dry, because the moisture can be bad for the horn in the wrong, long run. Tuning. To tune the French horn, start by pushing in all of the slides completely and holding down the change valve. Focus on the main B-flat tuning slide on the back of the horn. Play the basic open note, whichever comes naturally, and compare it with a piano or tuner. Compared to a piano, it should be a small amount higher than a middle C. After that, focus on the F tuner slide and release the change valve. Tune the horn again in the exact same way. Hi, Mom. Hi. So, uh, today, you're going to learn how to play the French horn. Yay. So, uh, could you please show me how you hold the French horn? Alright, now, make sure that when you play it, you put your hand in the bell, like that, to direct the sound. Alright, you should probably put it a little bit farther in, too. But don't block the sound, make sure it's, like, flat against the outside. Like that? Awesome, that's great. All right, now, can you put it up to your mouth, please? Try to rest the bell on your, on your knee there. More like, like, pull it up a little bit so that the mouthpiece comes to your mouth. You don't want to let it lean over, because that's not going to be good for your, your air flow. I'm not tall enough. You should try to like, like, bring the bell up onto your knee. Oh, like that? Yeah, and then it, it kind of oh. comes up better. All right. Now, could you put your, your fingers on the keys? All right, your pinky finger should go over around there like that. And the other finger should go there, and your thumb should be able to hit the octave key down there. <laughs> <laughs> your hands aren't big enough. That's fine. All right, now, uh, could you try making a sound, please? All right, you're good. You can stop. Now, when you make a sound, could you try not to puff out your cheeks? Because it's important that... You have a tight embouchure to play this instrument. Alright, now can you try playing another note? That's awesome. Well done, Mom.